Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as a recording of this Saturday, December 4th, 2021, New Mexico, right there, down that road. And as I walk a few feet more, crossing the state line into Texas, the panhandle of Texas, directly that direction. Currently 1.20 p.m. However, you will see how the pavement changes a bit from here. And this goes from New Mexico into Texas. Also, currently 1.20 p.m. But as I walk over where the road changes into Texas, a new time zone happens. And it is now 2.20 p.m. I'm going to be traversing through the Texas, northern Texas panhandle. A few, a couple hundred miles, not too far. Maybe 300 miles, 200 miles. Probably should have looked up before I stated that. Right along the top portion of the panhandle. This is a little town by the name of Glen Rio. Sign states it right over there. I'm inviting you to join me on a back road excursion off the beaten path, if you will. Join me. Shall you? Runs parallel to Interstate 40 as I'm entering into Northern Panhandle, Texas. Glen Rio, I was correct when I said that. I was thinking I'm probably gonna state that wrong, but here is the signage. Right there, Business Loop 40, also known as Route 66, into Glen Rio. Now, I will not be staying on 66 for very long. We'll be getting back on the interstate, up to a few exits up, and then going north of here and running along the, the other state line, staying in Texas. But take a look at this. This whole town has seen better days. Abandoned, fallen by the wayside, forgotten about. Motel and a cafe. And it looks to be, at one point, some accommodations back there. That would be the motel. Right over there is New Mexico. Right over here is Texas. Okay. Carrying on. I just love this type of stuff so much. You think about the history of these places and those who spent their years here, probably even a lifetime, some of them, building a homestead, a business, a farm, probably with some horses. There's still some cows way over there in the distance, but the horses here from this pen have been removed. And take a look at this. Wow, an old diner. Look at that. Still has the diner sign. No graffiti on the side, untouched by paint cans. A classic car alert in front. True Americana here. An old refrigerator. Now it does say private property. And I believe around the back side of the station, former station, is a homestead that someone still lives in watching over the premises, which is good. So there is one resident here in this town. Probably the mayor. I am now on 385 northbound, the town of Vega, peering over the tree line here. And the town square will be the water tower, spelled V-E-G-A, right there. Yeah, cute little community. And we'll be staying on this road for quite a while. 
getting up towards the top portion of the state of Texas. And I'm noticing all these big windmills over here. None of them are circulating around. Not a one. They're just sitting there stagnant. Wonder why. Downtown Channing now, home of just great candles. The sign on the way, the entry point into town here. So the population, 363 residents. Looks like something here was torn or burned down. I like this building. Right here. Yeah, I like this. Kind of tough to make out what the signs say up top. Oh, look at that scale over there. There's a scale. Very cool. Little trucks back in there. A rather large arrow in the yard. I've heard of twin arrows, but that's just one arrow. This is quite an impressive home as well, with the water tower off in the distance. Yeah, this is a beautiful house. Right next to the train tracks. You're in Channing. Dirt roads. I veered off of the road I was on onto the dirt road that goes through town. Looking at the water tower there. church building here, the steeple, cross up top. This is the United Methodist. Oh yeah, the courthouse as well. Martley County, oh sorry, Hartley County, H-A-R-T-L-E-Y County, was created in January of 1891. A frame courthouse was built on the town square. Up, oh, the gate is open. This gate is open. And over there, it's another structure. A basketball hoop. Got kind of a late start this morning. My sister, who was also in Albuquerque, ended up having breakfast with her. It didn't really get out till close to noon. So gonna be definitely burning daylight and battling the the sun. So trying to make some quick time. But this is a this is an amazing structure here. That's right, Big the Foot. Pretty standard to see a truck pulling a tractor through these parts. Nothing out of the ordinary. Some of these small towns. Farming communities. Right along the thoroughfare, this closed store has a couple paintings, a little mural here on the side of the wall. It's all grown over. Don't want to walk up too close, you never know. What kind of insects or snakes are here in the foliage? girl there with her horse sitting on a rock and also another laying there on top of a tree stump a few cars over there broken down cars in this fuel station I'm curious as to what the price of fuel was when this place closed be able to tell by looking at the front of the pump here. Okay, this doesn't give much of an indication. Well, I guess maybe it does. Maybe not. That can't be right. I don't think that. Oh, train coming by. What does this say? Ooh! Those birds startled me. 
Chicago. Not near Chicago at the moment. Someone has riddled this full. I don't know if I want to step inside here. It says there's a microwave oven in use. Hello? Some, mach some machine parts. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this. Nice view of the water tower and that amazing home over there as the train goes by through a town with a population of less than 400 folks. There's also the relics of a tennis court, basketball court area right over here as well. It's no longer utilized. It's kind of grown over as well, rusted out. No traffic jams in this town. If they are, they're rare. Going parallel to the train now. Difficult to outrun a train on foot unless you're Superman in the Richard Donner classic. I always love that scene. But you can do it in a car. Passing the train. See a train. Now over to the town of Hartley. It's about 15, 20 minutes up from where I just was. Nice little relics over here. Take a look at this, there's a tractor over there next to a bunch of tires. There are mounds and mounds of these tires. Mounds of them. Never seen so many tires. Tiny little hills full of tires. Side road. I am out here. I don't want to say the middle of nowhere, but there's not a whole heck of a lot about to connect back up with another road to keep heading northbound. It's a hay truck here. Oh, holy cow! Ho 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 whoa he shocked me. Surprise me dog. It's official. There is a town in Texas by the name of Cactus. Cactus Texas. A lot of cactus in Texas. There's also a town, small town. And over here, kind of look like looks like Doc Brown's van. Maybe he lives here. And if the water tower is not enough to convince someone, 
Here's more proof that there really is a town named after a cactus. Area code 79013. Here's the post office. A lot of birds off in the background making quite a bit of noise. Have to backtrack just a few miles, head over to another access road to get to the next spot. Something I'm hoping is still, still here. So I'll find out when I get there. So just backtracking down this way and I'm gonna take another road, keep heading north. But right now, going west a few miles and then I have to take this next road northbound. Might be easier just to ask. Yeah, maybe I'll just ask. Excuse me, cows. I'm looking for a statue of a cowboy that is very popular around these parts. I know there's not, not a lot going on around here, but there's supposed to be a statue of a cowboy. Can you just point me in the right direction? Not a whole heck of a lot of assistance there, cows. Thank you. What about you, cow? No? Okay. I'll find it myself. By the way, I have been on this last road for probably 10, 15 miles. No one passed me in either direction. Now this intersection, there might be a couple cars. But yeah, this is out here. But now connected with Highway 54 with a little more activity, a little traffic. Not too busy, but there are some trucks. This was worth the slight detour. Look at the silhouette up there of a very tall cowboy etched in the state of Texas. Right there, of course, it's like half a state because the wood has is decrepit. There's a hay truck going by that just honked at me. Prepare for something incredible. I saw this from a distance. I pulled over and you can see the cowboy off in the distance promoting a restaurant, a steakhouse, a diner of some sort that now sits here empty, abandoned, desolate. Along this thoroughfare. Also some paintings here on the side or maybe, oh yeah. First I thought it was graffiti, but it's not graffiti. It's a stagecoach. Look at this, little etchings of a stagecoach, remnants of a painting. Or maybe someone with just a large Sharpie. I'm not really sure if that was there before or after, it's tough to tell. And now approaching this incredible, very muffler man-esque, but not holding a muffler, holding something else. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. I am very excited about, look at this. Look at this. Could be my mind, I might, I might be losing my mind a little bit for the excitement. His belt buckle says Tex. His name must be or might be Tex. I'm gonna call you Tex. And they're short for Texas. Wow. This is a find right here. I am impressed. The text with the little sunset behind him saying hello to all the weary travelers who probably have lost their way because I can't imagine anyone other other than a local or a truck driver would even go down this road. Yes. Yes, Tex. I'm just happy to talk to it, to talk to someone, even though it's a, an inanimate 
someone. Oh man, look at that. He's been given a little back support as well. The stanchions holding him, holding him up. The name of this town is Conlon. And I am certainly going to be adventuring and driving a lot in the dark under the shroud of nightfall. That's okay though. Gotta be moving on, buddy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes! Get excited about the smallest thing sometimes. That's pretty cool, right? That's, that's pretty dang cool. It's getting chilly too. I think it's like mid 40s right about now. Sun goes down. It's chilly out here. This helps. This helps a little bit. Right there, I guess, is what you could call the night train. Is this a train at night? Pulling into the downtown area now of Stratford. It's the water tower. Nice little building here. Look at that architecture. That's pretty cool. Nice little downtown. Advertisement painted on the bricks there, a hardware, some sort of hardware store. I really like these relics here where you can make out old advertisements that were painted on the side of the buildings. I like that a lot. And the middle of the road has a large star on it. Water tower up there for the town of Groover. G-R-U-V-E-R. -E One thing about driving around at night, can't see a whole heck of a lot, except for what the street lights show. Getting between town to town, not a lot of scenery. I mean, it's all farmland mostly, but between these two, between all these towns, just darkness. I don't drive much at night anymore. Mostly because I film during the day, you can't see much at night, but gotta make up some time. In my travels, I have seen one or two different gardens that have windmills, but I've never been to this one here in Spearman. Population 3,368. And over here in this field, are a lot of windmills. They're gonna be very difficult to see, but it's not gonna hinder me from walking over there. Just gotta watch where I'm walking. There are a lot of windmills out here. This one directly in front of me is not turning, but the other one is. Go up and get a little, little sound ambiance. The truck's going by, but I'll also stop talking and just get the sounds of the wind turning, turning this. Once that car goes by.
Yeah, it is. It's tough to see out here. Pretty loud brake that truck's using. There's another one that's turning. See, they're not all turning. Maybe they have a locking mechanism on them where some of them don't turn. But this one is also turning. Let's see if this is making a noise. Weather is nice and chilly. Feels good. Feels good out here. I like it. There's just something about being in a, a field of windmills in the darkness. Okay, moving on, windmill. And here's the downtown area. Nice little theater there. Oh, nice. Here's an advertisement. Oh, I like this. Bright and early coffee and the finest teas. I never heard of that brand. Bright and early. And the water tower right over there. This is the same town that the windmills are in. Pay no attention to me. Just driving around, showing, showcasing a small downtown. Anyone wonders what I'm doing out here? So quiet. Up the ways a bit is the community of Perryton. I wanted to show this marquee here, the Ellis Theater. Yeah, that is nice, the neon. The neon is working well. I like it, the Ellis, here in Perryton, right downtown. And I'm not too far from the state line. Probably about 15, 15 miles or so. And then I'm gonna end the episode there. Made it through the panhandle of Texas. I pulled over here on the side of the road, kind of out near these empty farm, this empty farmland and fields. And you notice there's some blinking red lights out there. That is not a runway, that is not a an airport. Those are blinking lights on those very huge windmills that you see. The, the massive, there are just hundreds or more of them out there. A 
couple of years ago, I was driving through an area similar to this, and I saw these lights off in the distance, and I thought, what? Are there are there's a bunch of UFOs out there? But they're not. That's what they are. Just an indication for anyone wanting to know what those are. This is the Booker City Hall and the water tower above it. And they have a Santa kind of popping its head there over the top of the City Hall building. Right here on, pretty much on the state line. Not too far. And this is where I'm going to, this is where I'm going to end the, the episode. Now I am going to drive a couple more hours. It's about 8 p.m. right now. I'll probably drive till about 10 o'clock and try to find some accommodations for the evening. But just wanted to show this since it is into the first week of December. Christmas is right around the corner. Now I am heading to Florida. Spend time with my family for the holidays. Mom and Dad. And also continue moving what's left of my stuff from my Southern California place. I'm not exactly taking the most direct route. I kind of veered off just a little bit. However, you know, it's just, it, it's always fun to, to kind of go off of the, the planned path. Not that I really had a plan. Isn't that right, Frosty? This gazebo here. Very nice little park. That's going to do it for today. From Booker. Well, that's the fire department right there. Right over there is the fire department. Booker, Texas. Went through the panhandle. The top portion of the panhandle. And into another state tomorrow. And then at some point, heading southeast bound back to Celebration of Florida. Just kind of going with the flow. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.